Is this thing on? Okay, we good. Yeah, Hi. yeah. Let's What's talk up, about man? it, man. What's up? Now, when did you start doing comedy? How did you know you was a comedian? Uh, I really didn't know. I, actually, I just I kept getting fired and shit, so I had to realize. <laughs> Your job? Yes. Your comedy job? From my job. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and then I decided, I said, I got to find something to do because I'm going to keep getting fired. So I decided, let me try this comedy shit. And I did it. And I, I, the first time I did it, I did good. Like, I had some Def Jam people out there giving me five and all that shit. I was like, oh, this is dope. I'm it. And then I bombed for a whole year. So that was it. Right. A, a whole year. A whole year. Now, like, most people, they would, like, kill their confidence and they would right. come back to the stage. Yeah. I would have quit. What made you come back after a whole year of booze and bombs? <laughs> it's one of those things that you, you just, like, in certain things in life, you know you can do it. You may have to work on it, but you know you can do it. And I knew I can do it. So, you know, I used to, you know, I used to get out of tickets from making people laugh. I used to, you know what I'm saying? One time I got arrested and shit, and uh, they had to do, like, community service, and I made the lady laugh, and I ain't had to do none of the shit. So, I mean, I knew... <laughs> You know, I knew I had it, but I just had to put it in the right place and just keep working on it, you know? Where was you working at, though? I want to know what job you got fired from. Um, I used to be a... Don't lie, neither. A, <laughs> it was simple shit. I was a printer. Some of the shit, I'd just walk off the job. Like, <laughs> a printer? <laughs> a printer? Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what is a printer? <laughs> a printer, you, you know? <laughs> It was a machine. Uh, let me see. Your you business card. You see a business card? Yeah. I was the nigga who made those. Uh, uh. Yeah, I used to make. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just kept, you know, I, actually I started doing comedy too when I was fucking out. I used to make pizza. I was in a pizza shop. I was that nigga giving away free pizza. I used to do a bunch of shit. Like <laughs> pizza hut or like a pizzeria? Nah, pizza in the hood. I used to live in, when I first started pizza comedy, I was living hood. in Queensbridge. So they oh. had a little pizza in the hood and shit. Okay. And you know, niggas be like, yo man, put extra sauce on my shit, yo. <laughs> You know, and I used to just be like, I'd give an extra sauce or just giving away pizzas and shit. And niggas got, you know, we lose your motherfucking job. Yeah. Word, word, word. Hey, what's the worst you ever bombed on stage? Yeah. Give me your worst bomb story ever. Um, I think, I don't know if this is a bomb, but the worst thing that ever happened to me was I was, I was performing, like, right before I went on stage, uh, I got into an argument with this dude. He's like, yo, you bumped me. I was like, man... But he, when he bumped me, he did, when he told me he bumped me, he did like this. He poked me. I was like, yo, keep your hands to your fucking self. And then he's like, you bumped me. And then as, as, as he was talking, they was calling me on stage. They're like, give it up for Kareem Green. I go on stage. He comes on the back of the stage and uh, comes up behind me. I'm in my, like, second joke, and he just starts choking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, and he shit. choked me. He came up from behind me, and he choked me. You just see my feet wiggling and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he lift me up on some Debo shit. <laughs> Over some jokes? <laughs> Over some jokes, yo. <laughs> that shit was real. I, it, was, it wasn't the jokes. It was the shit that happened right they, before they the jokes. They bumped each other. He bumped into it. Was him. It was about a bump. It was about a bump, yo. And I was wild. Did yo, anybody man. help you or you just was dead? Oh, no. Did you call the police? <laughs> did you well, call the proper authorities? I don't know how I got loose, but I got loose. And then when, when I got loose, I had, um, they started just like ushering me out the club. Mm. And God bless Didn't it. Did they kick you out? Oh, uh, no. They was just like, well, they was getting you to safety. Yeah, they was getting me to safety, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was in a kick out. It was a just, you know, save your life, mother. Yeah. You know, because they was like the, the owner, not the owner, the, the host. Okay. As I said, God bless the dead Jimmy Mack, Uncle Jimmy Mack. He's the one who passed away with Tracy Morgan in that car crash. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? He was the host. He was like, yo, Kareem, just go. I can't protect you. Just go. Just go. And they, us they ushered me out the club and shit. And then we outside, you know, and I'm squaring up with a dude. And I, I'm, I wasn't the size I am now. I was much, I was like, you know how big, big Sean is? I was like that. This is a I was disclaimer like, for him I was getting little that shit. Well, FYI. So, I was like this big. I was big, like skinny, like little Michael Blackson skinny, like, you know what I'm <laughs> So, and he was like, like, a, like your size, but taller. You know what I'm saying? And I'm squaring up. I ain't give a fuck. And then um, his man ran up on me like, yo, man, I should bust you. I should bust you. And, um, but I didn't give a fuck. I was like, whatever, nigga, you gonna bust me, bust me. But that's how I, you know, I was feeling. And he was going like this, I should bust you, I should bust you. And then he did one of these joints. He's like, nigga, I should bust you, I should bust you. I was like, nigga, what side the gun on? <laughs> 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 I was just like, whatever, man. And then, you know, after that, they was just, you know, it, you know they just kind of went back in the club and that was it. But that was the most, the worst shit that ever happened. Whenever, yeah. I, uh, whenever I, um, I got my ass whooped, I always play that shit back in my mind <laughs> of what I should have did. Uh -huh. Do you ever play that moment back in your mind when you got joked out and like, damn, I should have 
I should have hit him across the head with a chair on some WWF shit. I mean, I nah, I, I felt like I got out of that, that shit nigga. good. I, I should have even took that shit. Because they was like, yo, where you, where you parked at? You know, I was like, nigga, we don't worry about it. Nigga, they was really trying to, like, take it to the next level. But, right. you know, I'm glad that shit just where ended. Where you parked at? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they was like, where you, they was, they they was parked like, at? They was dead serious. <laughs> and one dude pulled, I swear, one dude pulled out a, a bag. What is one a badge? It was a wallet. And you know how the wallet had a badge on it? But he ain't had shit on it. It was just his ID. He was like, you know, you're on police. <laughs> he hit me with the flip. You know how the, the, the badge flip open and close? I'm on the police. <laughs> I was like, let me see that again. He's like, nigga, you don't need to see that again. <laughs> this nigga here. Yeah. So I, you know, it was it was a it was a wild night. It was a wild night. But I, yeah, you we know. can't go to none of your shows. <laughs> no, it's, it's much better now. It's much better now. I was much. I was a wild. I was, was wild. more angry back then, huh? No, you you know when you come straight from the streets to the stage, you don't have no no etiquette. You don't have no you know. I had honestly, you know, I grew up in foster homes. I just got out of foster homes. I'm I'm living on my own. I'm you like know on I'm wild. On some, some yeah, not that good. I mean, I was I was like, <laughs> I mean, like just I ain't had no etiquette. Mm. I had no etiquette. So uh, you know when when you and then I'm stepping straight into comedy. So I didn't know, I just didn't have no etiquette. That's what the best way I could say it. Word, word, word. I used to work at foster homes and whatnot, and the kids there are so fucking bad, because they, they come from like really troubled backgrounds where uh, they've been molested, mm -hmm. and um, it's all kind of, uh, the girls are like real per promiscuous and shit, and whatnot. It would be guys, they come in and check the girls But that's out. regular motherfuckers too. Yeah, but no, these you, kids. You, but I know, but you're saying like the foster home kids. You know how many girls, regular girls I met that been fucking around, you know, so. He's like, they, they, they promiscuous. Like they like 12. Man, we look around this room, everybody in this motherfucker promiscuous. <laughs> Are they in foster homes? No. I don't it's see no 12-year-olds like... <laughs> in this motherfucker, though. Because he's at about 12. They're right? like 12, 14. Yeah, that's young, young uh -huh. to be like yeah, that. Yeah, the kids are like the, the, the guys, that, the, they're in gangs and stuff. They have their own little foster home gangs and shit. Oh, really? Well, I didn't know. Kids inside that there. wasn't my thing. You know, we, we, we used to try to sleep with our foster sisters, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, y'all call them sisters and uh, brothers? No, we, that, was, that was a girl who lived there. <laughs> that wasn't but like, you like your foster sister. I mean, so you'll have a reference. You'll have a reference. But when we got, she ain't know my last name. I ain't know her shit. Oh, that wasn't right. no, you know what I'm saying? So y'all wasn't related, so it was okay. You're damn right. You ever get paired up with a family and shit? Or you was always just inside the home the whole time? Nah, I was a nomad. I was like one foster home I'd be and then another foster. It depends on whatever was happening. I'd either run away or some shit yeah. or I'll just What do you run away do. to? You don't, you just go and don't come back. <laughs> you just like, you can fucking run away and be on the train all day. That's a runaway. That's a good thing about the train. You just be on that shit all day. You've done ran away. And so, like, who catches you and everything to get you back to us? No, you get tired and you come back and shit. It ain't no... Smelling homeless. I ain't away. Yeah. It ain't no repercussions or no shit when you get back there? Do they whoop you up? No, they just had your bags packed. Oh, so they tell you you can't They be like, yeah, you can't. Nah, we can't deal with this shit. Then you just go to another home. You go to another home and you know and then live there until they get on your nerves and shit, you know. Run away again. And then you either run away, but sometimes you don't even run. Sometimes they don't, you know. They get kids that are, um, they have special it problems, right? But the bigger your problem is, the more money they get for you. It's like NBA draft or some shit. So like, you know, no, <laughs> y'all has to get same. traded. You get, tra <laughs> you get traded. Right. <laughs> You get traded. <laughs> so if you in a wheelchair, really yeah. how much are you worth? Like, yeah, they get a motherfucker that like I, back in the days. I think it was only like five worth five hundred. Like, but if you had a problem, nigga, that's le that's an easy seven hundred. So, what 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 could I get? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What could I get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look like you look like you you <laughs> you I big and eye. you got a missing eye. <laughs> that's a that's an easy nine hundred. You a yeah. nine hundred kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I swear to God, you you come home. If you want to stay there, you gotta kind of act like you got a problem. <laughs> you gotta be in there like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like what's wrong what with that nigga? I don't know. Kid. I think he want to stay. <laughs> that's it. What about the regular kids? The, what regular kids? We mean nobody's a regular kid. <laughs> he's not a regular kid. So what about me? Oh, you, you, yeah. no, you, you be regular. What do you mean? How much you be worth? Yeah, how, am I, how much am I going to get paid for? In the kids, no, you, right. no, you don't get paid. You don't they get, get paid. paid for you. Oh, so they get the money. Yeah, they get the money for you. That's okay. why they decided. So how, much? To have, how much? you, for you? Yeah. I don't know. You look regular. <laughs> I am regular. But, but do you have any problems? Do you be cutting yourself? Do no. you? 
<laughs> do you drink your own pee? What do you do? Do you no. date? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It depends on what problems like how you much have. How did they get for you? Oh, I don't. I think I was a five hundred. <laughs> I was, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't stay, you know, the most I would do is I'd run away. I wouldn't do nothing. I wouldn't like burn people's house down or do no, I wasn't no thief or nothing. I wasn't, I was just, I just didn't like what I didn't like and I would leave or some shit. Yeah. That's about it. So you, you know what that shit kind of reminds me of? Or act up in school. Like the X-Men or some shit, you know, like. like Doctor Xavier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that, that would be more like a group home. So, yeah, what's group the home. difference yeah, between what's a the... foster home and a group home? That's where... All right, we listen to this word group. <laughs> Was that supposed to give me <laughs> the Yeah, answer? they're in the group, in the home. Foster home is like one person in the home. A group home oh, is like a bunch. one person. Yeah, it's like oh. one, it's like one, yeah. Okay. Group. I thought a foster home was like somebody. No, nah, they'll get 800 for you now that I, now, yeah, they'll get 800 <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that about you. See, you was hiding that shit. <laughs> You were 800 right there. With that question, that, that just raised your numbers right there. You no, know I really thought that a foster home was like somebody that had mad different bedrooms and shit, and they would mm -hmm. like adopt a bunch of different kids or have a whole bunch of kids that. No, that can that can live. be a foster home too, but a group home is it's it's more like a it's not like a a house. It was like yeah, more like a facility. Okay. More so like, like you know. all the beds are in one room instead. Yeah, like no, no, you you, 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 may, you still have you still have you still have your own rooms, but it's not like a family setting. Foster home is more like a family setting. Okay. Yeah, like you Alvin know, group home months. is like a counselor. Okay. Like you know, Dave was taking like care of the two months and whatnot. Oh, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. No, that that would be a foster home. That'd be a foster home. See, yeah. exactly. Like you have you ever seen different too. strokes? You ever heard different strokes? Yeah, that's like yeah, a, yeah. That's like a foster home. I thought they were adopted. Who? So it's foster then adopted. Okay. Uh, it depends if they want to keep your ass. Man, fuck all that. Yeah, yeah, let's get back to yeah. comedy. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know I just got married, man. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here to say farewell to young Jack Thriller. Are you married? We lost a girl. No, I was married four years ago, you know, but you know how it is, relationship. You know, the thing is, I realized she somebody. Choking you? She's, no, she and changed. That's what it is. Some women change, man. After we got married, all of a sudden, I can't piss on her. I don't, I don't like that shit. <laughs> I'm th I mean, that's, yo, that's what it was. Don't, don't disrespect my, my sex life. So that's what it was? You yeah. couldn't pee on her? So I couldn't do the things that I like to do with her, you know, because people get lazy and shit. She so was, the only thing was pee? You couldn't pee on her? No, she was an open door shitter, you know. Oh, that's you know, that, liking her. Yeah, yeah. She started doing a bunch of shit that she didn't do before we got married. Somebody else got open door shit in their house. Yeah. Like, oh, maybe, yeah, she, oh, maybe she, she with the door. Yeah, and you then you get the you know, and they don't never tell what you. You, cute, you don't yeah. know. Yeah. Nah, that shit ain't cute. Nah, that's cause you that's cause you just got married in those state. <laughs> that's like a brand new baby. You don't smell yeah, nothing when they new. Get that nigga one month. <laughs> you be like, what the fuck is happening? Here? <laughs> like, you're gonna be doing something, and that's when you're gonna be like, baby. You know, you're gonna be like watching TV or Sports right. Center or some shit. And then you go, <laughs> what, what the fuck is that? And then you're gonna go out and she's gonna be in there with the door open. Wah, rah, pop, 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 pop. Just destroying shit. That's and how they shit around you? That's a lot. I, I mean, you shit, <laughs> you shit how you shit. You can't like kind of <laughs> disguise your shit. <laughs> like whatever your ass do, you can't control what your ass That's do. Nasty. You what, got, what do you mean call? nasty? You shit, don't you? No, I don't. Oh. Oh. That makes you about worth a thousand right now. Women you a shitless kid. <laughs> Women your, your numbers are going up. <laughs> I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the, that's the one who would change on you. No, no fault and no nothing until and then you get married and she let it all out, take over the body magic, all that shit, and, I think and then that's sit the down. Best thing. And, what? Like, I think, like, going to the bathroom in front of a man or something, mm. I think even peeing. I couldn't even pee in front of somebody. Oh, you pee with the door open. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> you know, jet hey, rocket. Well, but why is that, Loria? I don't why know. Don't I just don't. F I feel like there's a door in the bathroom for a reason. Right, like, right. I get, I get that. I mean, pissing that's fine, no, but the, see, I can't but shit. Be in front of anybody, like. How about you know how, how about like, farting? You fart in front of your man? No, I don't fart. Uh, I mean, do you, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out. Daughter, all this shit is farting shit. <laughs> You say you don't do it, so that shit is still in there. <laughs> 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 
in the bathroom, glitter comes out. Glitter comes out, yeah. Glitter comes out when you go to the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to be with somebody, <laughs> motherfucker. You're going to have to wait till they leave the house to take shits. How she do her mouth again when she talk? <laughs> what? How did she do her mouth again when she talk? She's like, I don't shit, I don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's her farts. Hey, so what was the last straw, man, when you had, before you had divorced your wife? Why did y'all get divorced? I know why he's divorced. What was the last? Because <laughs> I couldn't deal with them shits. Let me stop. Um, no, what happened? What? I don't know. What was the last straw? I don't Oh, she got, well, no, it was some other shit. She got disrespectful. She had left. She went somewhere and like out of town, and I didn't give a fuck about that. But I was like, "When you coming back?" She didn't want to tell me when she was coming back, and that was it. I would have um, did the same thing. So you told her to just stay, <laughs> huh? You told her to just stay where the fuck you at, man? No, no, no. After she, when she came back, I was gone, nigga. Just as simple as that. That's as simple as that. You, you know, cause, she was gone Cause, I, val you cause I, you know, I value me, man. I value me, <laughs> man. Where'd you go? Did you go on the train? No, where did she go? Where did I go? <laughs> I like that. I like that. She said, did I get on the train? Yeah, she, she <laughs> that was good. But now I don't, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, no, you know, you know, when you're with somebody, it's supposed to, you know, y'all supposed to share your happiness, man. So if you're not making, if you don't make me happy, but if you're creating that type of fucking fucked upness, that's, no, I'm not doing that, you know. Word, word, word. And, uh, and you got to add value, huh? Three and a half years. Oh, uh, you just gonna go like that? Yeah, but we got married one year. No, but but she it was laughed. other shit before that too. I told you <laughs> it was other shit before that. She was bugging out, flipping like fuck that, fuck that. She she was doing all this shit, you know. So I was like, yo, yo. And my thing is like when I watch when I watch videos and see niggas be hitting women, I be like, they need to show what happened before he hit her. <laughs> You know. Oh, so you're a woman beater. <laughs> Look, see that? See her twisting words? <laughs> see her twisting <laughs> words? You ain't nothing but the devil. You ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> you can think it, but you don't have to do it. That's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, no, but what the you thing is, what, your girl no, later. what happened before <laughs> that? But see, this is the thing. When you start jumping in my face and acting, you know, aggressive and about to be physical, and then I had to say to her one time, I said, yo, man, stop jumping in my face and screaming at me because you can't beat me. Oh, you bringing and them then, back because he's then, angry. And then she stopped doing it. But why I got to do that to you? Why I got to talk to you like that for you to act right? So if that's the case, you're not for me. Word. You know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all give it up. That's, that. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't beat her like you probably wouldn't like me to. <laughs> you got into a lot of confrontation, so I just think it's you. Like, no, that's just, you know, you got to defend yourself in life. You can't be, you know, everybody can't hold their shit in like you. Mm. I don't hold it in nothing. You see that call back? No, I don't hold in anything. I say whatever I want. You, but shitting is something totally different. That's nasty. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got some questions on the party side? Yeah, I have a question, actually. Um, you know, did that divorce, your relationship, like, feel, did you feel like it benefited you for your career? Because now you got so much material to talk about, or what? I don't really even talk about it that much in my career, uh, my joint too much, because uh, it, was a, it was a shitty situation. I mean, I th I'm funnier than that, so mm -hmm. I don't, she's oh. not important anymore. Oh. Like, you had the time with me in life, and that's... Like, I, I cut shit off, man. You had your time. Like, like y'all was talking about the Meek Mill shit, and he, I'm not going to be going back and taking shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm on to the, you know, I'm still young. I'm still handsome. I'm moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Hey, now, the one thing that's really Who told about, him he was handsome? Look, look, see this? Look at this. Look at all this shit you got in you. Can we got just this? clap to moving forward, you though? Because I do another joke. Moving forward is a dope thing. Can we just clap to moving yeah. forward? Thank you. See that? See, yeah. real, a lot of people respect this. A lot of people respect this. Right. That's yeah, she, she gets it. She gets it. Like no, put her over here. Put her over here. No. They get it. They get it. She, she mad at me. She coming at Remy still. You coming at Remy still. Huh? You coming at Remy still. Now, I think, but you know what, though, what he's doing with Remy, I think that's, I think in a funny way, like, because in reality, when you fuck, if you honest, when you fuck, when shit ends, you know, you, you want them to suffer because you want them to, uh, you want them to know that, you know, you should have not left me or whatever it is. So, I mean, I think what he's doing is honest. It's honest. But everybody else is acting like, you shouldn't do that. Fuck that. What he's doing is honest. He's not even saying nothing. He's just enjoying what's happening to her. And that's what karma is. Ouch. 
enjoying what's happening? I don't think so. What's your warm What's your warm up? Like, how do you warm up to get ready for your shows? What? I don't. I don't. You don't what, warm up. What do you mean warm? Who warms? I don't know. He, he, she want to know. Do I you have understand. a ritual before you do shows? Oh no! I just honestly, what I do, I'll probably do some jumping jacks or some shit. I'll do something to get my heart pumping. I get my heart pumping because you know, sitting around, just you know, it, it, you can be, you can get tired and just lethargic or listening to shit. So I, I'll probably do some jumping jacks or do some, you know, something to get my heart pumping. Though. Drink an energy drink. I don't know. Beat up a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I go take a shit. You know. <laughs> 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 well, hey, so um, let's uh, let's uh, talk about you know what I'm saying up and coming um, events and shows and whatnot you got going on because I know you for a long time. Uh -huh. You've been on every comedy show well, that would like we if you're a comedian you dream to be on. Well, well, I, what is there I want to be on or yeah, I have well, a, what, what you got coming up, man? What can oh, we look to? no, I'm much, I'm working on a lot of independent things like you know because I I I think you know. You just got to be able to put your kind of funny out there because people be trying to put you into their kind of funny. And I like, you know, I have my type of funny, so I'd rather put my, and mine's are more honest and it's more, you know, some people are politically correct. Some people are not just truthful. So, and I am, you know, and I'm cool with what my life is and I'm cool with what it is. So I can, I want to express it the way I need, even like, you know what I'm saying? When I was just talking about uh, uh, <laughs> the shitting or the pissing on somebody, you know, my life is what my life is. And you, you who are you to tell me that I shouldn't, live my life the way I want to live my life. So I want to be able to express my funny that way. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a, a stand-up special uh, and it's called Working Class Laughs. And I'm probably dropping that. I'm be doing that in April in Brooklyn at the Inkwell, uh, April 22nd, I believe that is. You know, I'm gonna be doing that one. And also, you know, I do the Instagram joints, putting together series, I'm collaborating with people. There's a lot of good things happening on my behalf, but it took a while for me to get there to just be able to do my own thing because I've been trying to, you know, when you first get into the business, you're always trying to, see where you fit in, and then you just start creating your own lane. Right. Just like this, you created, I remember when you started, you know, you was doing your own thing, and you created this whole, shout out to my man, Young Jack, man, you know what I'm saying? Because he, this, this is, you know, this is, this is what it's about, and this is, you know, the route that I want to go. Word, 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 man. Hey, I really appreciate you coming over to Party and Bullshit today, man. Is there anything you want to tell Party and Bullshit before we get out here? Um, man, just, yeah, just, yo, follow me on Instagram, Kareem Green 21 uh, I'm very funny on there. I'll be doing videos and putting up posts and doing, you know, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, what is it? What's the, you know, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, all that other good shit, you know. Uh, I'm going to be creating a web series. It's called, actually, uh, Back in the Game. It's about uh, me breaking up with my ex. It's not her, but a breakup and talking about the journey of men getting back into relationships. <laughs> like a lion. Because you, you always hear. Didn't he just gonna... say he's moving, he moves forward and doesn't talk about no, it? No, but that's, that's not, not, that's not it. talking about it. That's, that's showing you another perspective of what goes on. Because all you ever right. hear about is a man not being shit when something fucks up. But you never hear the story of what, happened with, what happens after the man breaks up. His journey. So I'm showing the journey. So it's not about her. It's about my journey dating after that and becoming, God damn you, evil. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> she just want to find yeah, evil. She got, she got alpha, yeah, she got it out for me. Just, ooh. <laughs> God damn. I used to like people with freckles. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking up the freckle community. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, Look at one of the Drewski. <laughs> Thank y'all very much, Kareem Green. Green. <laughs>